Welcome back as we continue to get you ready for Kentucky basketball summer trip to Toronto. A huge talking point this offseason has been the Cats front court, specifically if Ugana Onyenzo will be ready to take on a prominent role. So we'll start to get an idea of that this week, hopefully, but it's the work he's been putting in off the court since the end of last season that could really make a difference for the sophomore. Ugo, I think I've, I've been very impressed with for, you know, as, as young as he is, you know, he's, he's still 18 years old. It's, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I've worked with NBA players and there's not many NBA players at 18 that are as talented as he is. Uh, he's going to improve a lot and, you know, he's gotten so much stronger uh, in the weight room. And I think the, the you know, him and Adu, you can see have gained weight, gotten stronger, and I think that that's carried over to the court. The strength coach Brady has done a great job with them since last season. Up, good, come on. One more, drive it. Come on, Ugo. One, two, three, good. Well, Ugo, do you just about live in here this summer? Um, yeah, you know, I'm trying to get bigger, you know, stronger. So, Bridge is like my best friend right now. Come on, let's go, right to it. What's Brady like? I told him one time he has a lot of energy. He always has energy. You know, so that energy impacts um, the way we do our workouts. So he, like, he has the energy. Good job, Ugo. I think we're just seeing the, the outer shell of Ugo right now. Um, and I think that's what John's talking about with that sophomore season. He's starting to really realize the work that he's put in and what it's doing for him. Um, so I'm excited for him just because he's a great 13, kid. He really is. 14, 15. Fantastic. One more right here. Good job. And whenever he got here, he had a really good frame, but he didn't have a ton of a base. His strength wasn't quite there. So a lot of times whenever he would take a hit, he would try to use his hands as compared to being able to actually take his body just because of his, his muscle mass and his strength. He didn't want to get hit in the chest or hit in the sternum. Um, a lot of people don't really think about sometimes even just upper body mass and like how that plays a part in basketball. It's really like taking hits and stuff like that. So for him, um, being able to get him comfortable with kind of taking some of those hits and being able to repeat it, because um, he's a great defender. Um, he communicates actually really well. Um, he does a lot of those things from the basketball standpoint that the coaches talk about. It's just the physicality that we wanted to be able to give him. Atta boy. The work you're putting in here right now, what do you need to see on the court to feel like it's paid off? You know, being able to bully people, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that look like to you? Playing against um, someone like Oscar mm -hmm. taught me what it means to be a bully yes. on the court. So when I get a little bit of that, you know, that kind of bully, yeah, I don't know that, you know, I'm you getting there, I'm getting stronger. Drive it, good, come on. Two, three, nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good, right there, nice. We always hear at the end of the season about the players' individual meetings with Calipari. Yep. Do you have meetings similar to that in terms of like, let's sit down and make a plan for the next four months of the off season? So it'd be, I'd meet with Cal by himself, I'd meet with Ugo by himself, and then we all meet together and we kind of make, it's almost like an agreement. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's how I like to do things. I like to make things more of like a partnership as compared to me telling you what you have to be, right? I want everybody to be on board with who they're gonna become, right? So then whenever I'm holding them accountable or I'm talking to them about it, it's their goals as well as my goals, right? Instead of just my goals. I mean, I have Brady here, you know, always telling me, always reminding me, day to day grind, you know, one step at a time. So having someone like Brady here with me, who keep um, reminding me of, you know, how to push, you know, like that's a big deal for me. I mean, it's a work in progress, you know, but we, I'm getting better. And I think before the season starts, I'm going to get, you know, a little stronger. How much do you think it's going to benefit you to have this longer length of time between the end of last season and the beginning of a new season? Coming together, working in the summer, you know, building that chemistry. Like, I didn't experience that last, um, last season. But, you know, being here now, doing it with the new guys, it's very fun doing it, especially on the court, weight room in the locker room, you know, the vibes, it's all different. Do you think you can build chemistry in here as much as you can build chemistry out there on the yes, court? Yes, yes I can. You know, pushing your teammates, that's a good way to build a chemistry. Being a, a vet here, you know, telling them, what, um, you know, 
when they're doing something wrong, you know, showing them how to do it. That's a way to build chemistry with the younger guys. You feel like a veteran? To the new guys, yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you've been around, I mean, you've been around I mean, a lot I mean, longer yeah. than a lot of these yes. guys, right? Yes. What sort of advice have you given them so far? Being able to push when, it's, when it gets harder, you know, keeping the mindset that, you know, you, you have a dream, you know, this is part of it, you know. When it gets hard, you know, being able to push. Right out of it. Perfect. Yeah. We had Ugo talk about what you're like. Yeah. What do you think Ugo's like? Ugo is, <laughs> he is a fun-loving, great human being. He's just now starting to understand who he is and who he can become. He is just, he is a very well-liked kid. He's loved by everybody. He works his tail off. He really does. But as a kid, you, you couldn't want anybody better. You know, I, I like to have him around the young guys because of the ownership he's taken over this specifically, as well as how serious he's gotten about basketball. Um, and I think a lot of that just came with confidence. So being able to see his confidence start to rise, that's been great for me because I started being a strength coach because of that, honestly. Like whenever I was young, I was an out of shape kid. So I started training and the confidence changed my life. Honestly, it made me believe that I could do all these other things. And I think for him, a specific person like him, that could do that for him as well. So I'm starting to really see that. And as he, he does little different things on the court that was different than what he was able to do last year. And as he continues to apply that, his confidence will grow. To the next one, let's go. He didn't get as much playing time as he probably wanted, right? Because everybody wants to play, right? But you know, you're playing behind Oscar Shibwe, who's National Player of the Year the year before, and um, a legend at Kentucky. So he was able to see that every day. And I think sometimes that, that stresses on your confidence a little bit. Um, and one thing that we're able to do, and, and what I realized too with the, the weight room for him and some people, is it can give you that confidence. Yep. So as he goes into the season, he knows that he put in the amount of work that it took. Atta boy. Well, Brady also shared this before and after picture with us. The first was taken in early September. The second one here in late May, 222 pounds compared to 239. His body fat percentage went from 11% down to 7.6%, and he's taking advantage of being lean but strong. His vertical has also increased 29 inches up to 34 inches. And get this, Ugo's seen more change since this picture was even taken. Brady told me he's gained about eight more pounds since then. So big thanks again to both of them for opening up that workout to us and for talking with us for this story. We'll have more BBN tonight right after this.